Okay. Uh, I think in the last class, uh, we discussed conformal mapping. Okay. Uh, we defined some of the definitions. Okay. And then we found the, found the critical points. And also we solved two problems. Okay. Now the third problem, please write the third problem. Find the image of the circle image of a circle modulus of z minus 2i equal to 2 uh, under the transformation w is equal to 1 by z okay so now so actually this is a circle equation so this is the transformation uh, okay so what is the transformation is given w is equal to 1 by z is given okay uh, but here uh, if we if we substitute z equal to x plus i y x plus i y okay and uh, if you collect the real and imaginary part here and then applying modulus you will get a circle equation in x and y in x and y you will get a circle equation so i need uh, i need x and y now because from this i am i to find x and y in terms of u and v once you got x and y in terms of u and v if you substitute uh, x and y value here in the circle equation you will get the equation in u and v or either u or in v so then you will get the image of this circle so this is the idea so now i need uh, x and y in terms of u and v so for for this i am going to write is that equal to 1 by w because i need x and y okay so this implies uh, is that equal to x plus i y uh, this is equal to w equal to u plus i v multiply its conjugate and divide by its conjugate okay so now this is equal to u minus i v divided by u square plus v square so compare the real and imaginary part you will get x is equal to uh, u by u square plus v square and uh, y equal to minus v divided by u square plus v square okay so i got x and y in terms of u and v okay now consider the circle equation modulus of z minus 2a equal to 2. Now, now substitute z equal to x plus i y x plus i y minus uh, 2i uh, is equal to 2. Okay. So this is uh, this. Okay. Now write the real and imaginary part. x minus y minus 2 in i equal to 2 this implies the root of x square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to 2 uh, two squaring on both sides x square plus y minus 2 whole square 
equal to two square. So which is a circle equation, which is a circle in the z plane. Sir. Yeah. In the second equation, x plus will come, sir. Modulus of x plus y minus two into x. Ah. Uh, sorry. X plus will come, I think, so, sir. X plus will oh, yeah. come. X plus iota y minus two. Oh, here. Ah. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Santosh. Yeah. Thank you. So, so uh, sorry. Okay. I think the next step, I I done it correctly, but uh, because. Uh, this is a root of x square plus uh, y square, but uh, here I need to write x plus. Okay, thank you. So, which is a which is a circle in the is a plane. With the center, with the center C. Okay, center C uh, at zero comma two. And the radius r equal to uh, two. Okay, so now I am going to simplify this equation further. X square plus y square minus four uh, y plus four uh, equal to four, or you can write x square plus uh, y square. <coughs> minus 4y equal to 0. Now I am going to substitute the value of x and y uh, x and y uh, in, in this equation. Okay. So, so this implies x is uh, u by u square plus v square. So u square by u square plus uh, v square whole square and then plus y square, y square, y is v by u square, uh, yeah, v, yes, I think, v, minus v, yeah. okay, minus v means v square divided by uh, u square plus v square whole square, and uh, I need a minus 4y, but y is negative, so that's why plus 4v by uh, u square plus uh, v square equal to 0 equal to 0 okay so now I am going to uh, add these two if I add these two u square plus v square divided by u square plus v square whole square plus uh, 4 v divided by u square plus v square equal to uh, 0. So this is nothing but 1 by uh, u square plus uh, v square plus uh, 4v uh, divided by u square plus uh, v square equal to 0 or 1 plus 4v equal to 0 or v equal to minus 1 by 4. So this is the straight line in the uv plane. Okay. So v equal to minus 1 by 4 is the straight line in the w plane. So which is a straight line in W plane parallel to U axis. Okay, so if you want to write, you can write one more line. Okay, uh, you should write, therefore, the circle mod z minus 2i equal to 2 in z plane is transformed into a 
is transformed into a straight line in W plane under the transformation W is equal to 1 by Z. The straight line is given by this straight line. Okay, wow. And the uh, W plane. Good stuff. Straight line. Sorry. Straight line is given by V equal to minus 1 by 4 in W plane. Okay. So if you want to draw the diagram, you can draw the diagram. Uh, so the, this is the circle equation centered at what? Uh, 0, 2, uh, 0, 2 radius 2. Is that plane? So this is a 0, 2, okay, uh, 0, 2, so this is a 0, 4, uh, this is a 0, 0. So the circle is passing through uh, origin and also passing through 0, 4. Okay, so radius is also two. Okay, that's why it touches the origin. Okay, radius is uh, two. Okay, so this is the circle in the Z plane. Now, uh, in the W plane, this is a W plane. V equal to minus one by four. So that means. Uh, this is actually, uh, this is a negative, okay, well, let us take like this, this point, V equal to minus 1 by 4. So the straight line passing through, okay, so the circle is mapped to this uh, straight line. Okay, so next problem. Find the image of the triangle. <coughs> Find the image of the triangle formed by Sir, one show previously. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Formed by <coughs> O equal to X. O equal to X, comma, O equal to minus X. And O equal to 1 by root 2. So, under the transformation, Uh, w is equal to <coughs> z into e power i pi by 4. Okay, this is a question. Okay, uh, the last class we discussed uh, translation uh, and then magnification and then rotation and then fourth one is the magnification and uh, uh, rotation okay and then i don't explain you inversion okay 
So only I explained these four. So this is not a translation. Okay, well. Uh, magnification means uh, uh, C W equal to A Z. Okay, well. but A should be real. A should be real. So this is not magnification because here A is complex. <coughs> and then rotation. W is equal to A Z. Okay. Mm, but uh, modulus of A should be what? 1. So then it is uh, rotation. Okay. W is equal to A Z. And the modulus of A is greater than 1 means it is... Uh, it is a magnification as well as rotation. But uh, either this is rotation or magnification and uh, rotation. So, but uh, what is A here? A is <coughs> e power i pi by 4. Modulus of A is what? Is it 1 or greater than 1? 1, sir. Yeah, 1 is yes, correct. So, if it is 1, then it should be rotation. So you actually, you don't need this. Uh, so transformation is given directly. You can find the image. Just uh, you should know uh, this is uh, what type of transformation. So I want to discuss with you. So this is a uh, rotation. The given transformation. W equal to Z into E power I pi by 4 is, is rotation. The given transformation is uh, rotation. Since the reason is uh, since uh, modulus of a equal to modulus of uh, e i power i i pi by four uh, is equal to what one. Okay, so now. W equal to U plus I V. Okay. And Z equal to what? X plus I Y. Z is X plus I Y uh, into <coughs> E power I pi by 4 is cos pi by 4 plus I sin pi by 4. So now this is 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 plus 1 by i into 1 by root 2, okay. So write the real part and the imaginary part separately. What is the real part? x by root 2 <coughs> minus y by root 2. So this is the real part plus i into I, I into x by root 2, okay, and plus uh, y by root 2. So now you can compare the real and imaginary part. So this is u, this is v. So in the next page I will write u and v. So u equal to x minus y by root 2. And uh, v equal to x plus y divided by root 2. Okay. 
but i need x and y in terms of u and v okay va wow. i don't need u and v in terms of x and y i need x and y in terms of u and v okay for this uh root 2 into u equal to x minus y i call this is 1 and root 2 into uh, v equal to x plus y this is 2 so 1 plus 2 implies i uh, will get uh, y gets cancelled 2x equal to root 2 into u plus v so x is equal to u plus v divided by root 2 similarly uh, 2 minus 1 implies 2 minus 1 is uh, 2y equal to root 2 into v minus u this implies uh, y equal to v minus u divided by root 2 okay i got x and y in terms of u and v okay uh, in the previous three problems they gave the something like uh, equation okay va wow. circle equation if you, you can check it in the previous problem and the, uh, the last class we solved two problems okay and all the problems but here <coughs> find the image of the triangle formed by these three lines okay uh not a single equation they gave the three lines so the uh, the region are bounded by the three lines okay we need to find the image of the triangle formed by these three lines okay first now i am going to find the image of the line y equal to x image of the line y equal to x so this implies what is y what is x now i am going to equate the right hand side of these two it is v minus u by root 2 equal to u plus v by root 2. v minus u by root 2 equal to u plus uh, v divided by root 2 so root 2 root 2 gets cancelled and uh, v v gets cancelled uh, 2 u equal to 0 so u equal to 0 okay so u equal to 0 means imaginary axis uh, in w plane that is v axis okay next uh, i am going to find the image of the line y equal to minus x that is given y equal to minus x so y equal to minus x means what is y v minus u divided by root 2 minus x means minus u uh, minus v divided by root 2 this implies uh, 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 2v equal to 0 this implies v equal to 0 so y equal to minus x mapped into real axis in the w plane v equal to 0 so next uh, i think y equal to half not half 1 by root 2 y equal to 1 by root 2. but y equal to we know that y equal to what in terms of u and v v minus u divided by root 2 equal to 1 by root 2 this implies v minus u equal to 1 okay now i am going to draw the region okay so this is a z plane okay uh, this is y equal to x axis y axis this is y equal to x this is y equal to minus x
y equal to minus x and y equal to 1 by root. So this is a point uh, 0, 1 by root 2. So this is a line y equal to 1 by root 2. So the region bounded by these three lines, the triangle, this triangle. Okay. So you need to find the image of this triangle under the given transformation. So this is U, this is V, this is W plane. Uh, y equal to x is mapped into u equal to 0. So this is u equal to this is u equal to 0, that is v axis. Okay. This is u equal to 0. Next, uh, when y equal to minus x is mapped into v equal to 0. Okay, this is v equal to 0 same u axis so the region is bounded by these two lines and uh, y equal to 1 by root 2 this line is mapped into v minus u equal to 1 so v minus u okay uh, when u equal to 0 okay v equal to 1 okay that means 0 comma 1 is uh, here okay then uh, u equal to uh, yeah when v equal to 0 when v equal to 0 u is minus 1 so this is the point minus 1 uh, comma 0 so this is the line okay this is the line uh, v minus uh, u equal to 1 okay so so your region is bounded by uh, this line and this line and this line so this is your recovered region so this triangle is mapped into this triangle okay this triangle under the transformation w is equal to a into uh, a into z, but here a is what? E, uh, e power i pi by 4. Uh? Okay, z into e power i pi by 4. Okay, so that's all. So diagram is also over. Okay, but if you want to write, you can write the next two lines. So the triangle. The triangle formed by y equal to x, y equal to minus x, and y equal to 1 by root 2. In z plane, can be transformed into or there is no transformed into transformed to a triangle in w plane under the transformation under W is equal to e power i pi by 4 into z into e power i pi by 4. Okay. So in W plane, uh, in W plane, triangle is bounded by Triangle is bounded by uh, u equal to 0, v equal to 0, and uh, v minus u equal to 1. Okay, so let's end of this problem.
So I will solve one more problem, and this is the last problem. Because up to this only I finished for mechanical students. Okay. So tomorrow again I will start three fifteen to five fifteen, or depending upon. Um, okay. I think at least I will take two hours tomorrow. So please write the problem. Find the image of a circle. Mod z minus one. Mod z minus one equal to one uh, in the complex plane. Under the mapping. W is equal to one by z. So this is a very similar problem to the, the first one. Okay, so you, you can try independently if you know. Okay, so what is the transformation given? W is equal to one by z. So I am writing this is z equal to one by w because I need uh, x and y in terms of u and v. Okay, this is equal to one by uh, U plus I V. Okay, uh, I'll write in the next line. Uh, X plus I Y equal to one by uh, U plus I V. Multiply its conjugate. So this is equal to U minus I V. Divided by u square plus v square, so x is equal to u by u square plus v square, and y equal to minus v divided by u square plus v square. So the circle equation is what mod z minus one equal to one. So substitute z equal to x plus i y. Minus one equal to one. So write the real in the imaginary part. So this is one. So this is what x minus one whole square plus uh, y square. I have write written directly. Okay, one square. So now uh, this is a, you know that this is a circle in the z plane. Centered at uh, one comma zero, and the radius is one. Okay. Now I'm going to simplify further. This is x square minus two x uh, plus uh, one plus y square equal to uh, one. Okay. So now you can simplify x square plus uh, y square minus two x. Equal to one. Sorry, zero. So you know that x square and uh, or you know x and y. X is uh, u by u square plus v square. So x square is uh, u square divided by u square plus v square. Y square is uh, uh, v square by u square plus v square whole square. I think I missed the square here. U square plus v square whole square minus two into x x is uh, u by uh, u square plus uh, u by v uh, u okay so uh, okay x yeah u by u square plus uh, v square okay. Which is equal to zero. 
Now, if you add the first two, you will get 1 by uh, u square plus v square minus uh, 2u divided by u square plus uh, v square equal to 0 or 1 minus 2u equal to 0 or u equal to 1 by 2. So u equal to 1 by 2. So this is the image of okay the circle uh, what is the circle this is a circle okay so if you want to draw the diagram you can draw the diagram also this is so z plane x axis this is y axis centered at what 1 comma 0 radius is 1 1 comma 0 means uh, this is 1 comma 0 radius is 1 so this is a uh, 2 comma 0 this is 1 comma 0 this is uh, 0 comma 0 okay so imagine okay uh, the circle uh, 1 comma 0 center it passing through 0, 0 and 2, 0. So this is uh, x minus 1 whole square plus uh, y square equal to 1. Okay. So now this is transformed into W plane. This is u axis. This is v axis. The image is uh, u equal to half. So this is uh, half. So the so u equal to half means the line parallel to uh, v axis. This is u equal to half. So this circle is mapped into the straight line. Okay. Okay. So now uh, tomorrow, uh, what I am going to uh, discuss with you is first. Uh, uh, I will solve one or two problems with conformal mapping and then I will go to bilinear transformation. Okay, actually, uh, there are uh, so these two sections are uh, I need to uh, discuss with you. Okay, conformal mapping and the bilinear. So, okay, so but uh, these two sections are interrelated sections. So, that's why I will solve some problems in uh, bilinear and some problems in conformal mapping tomorrow. Okay, so in both sections, I will solve problems. So don't miss the class. If you have any important work, then you can watch uh, my recorded video. Otherwise, try to attend the class. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask to me. Otherwise, we'll meet tomorrow. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, please tell me. Yeah, please tell me. Sir, under this five simple transformations only, sir, confirm mark. Actually, uh, in your syllabus, they gave uh, the transformation e, uh, si 1 by z, okay, wa? 1 by z, sin z, and e power z, okay, wa? so that is the transformation given in the in your book, that is a conformal mapping, okay, uh, but uh, now I am discussing with you only 1 by z only, okay. Uh, sin is that I need to discuss, e power is that I need to discuss, and uh, some of the problems related to uh, rotations, okay, uh, magnification, uh, okay, those type problems I need to. So it is better to uh, uh, check and go through Virarajan book, okay, Virarajan book. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, if you have any doubts, in that column, you can contact me or you can ask in the next class. Okay, next class. If I know, I will tell immediately. Otherwise, I will refer and tell. So, uh, you need to go through. Uh, usually, uh, I will tell to my students, I will tell the topic. So, please go through the problems. And uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask me directly in the classroom. So, then uh, you can easily uh, clarify your doubts also. Okay, uh, if I know that, I will tell immediately. Otherwise, I will tell the next class. Okay. 
no problem okay sir yeah. thank you yeah especially uh, conformal mapping students feel little bit little bit difficult okay but bilinear transformation is easy but i will try to explain uh, more problems okay and slowly uh, in the conformal mapping so then you can understand clearly and the your side you need to practice the problems okay sir yeah please sir you told that you will say the detailed information about the inversion sir yeah yeah still maybe next class i will take or uh, the coming class i will take inversion okay va so still okay, i need a minimum 4 hours to finish uh, 30 minute so tomorrow two hours monday and tuesday if it is not possible then i will take one more hour but uh, before uh, last working day i will finish your syllabus even suppose if it is not possible then i will take uh, and then i will post it okay i will do my my part but uh, some, and at the same time you should try to learn more Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, everyone.